In today's video, we have the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 4Matic SUV. This is an all-electric Mercedes SUV. has dual motors from the front and the rear 536 horsepower with 108.4 kilowatt hour battery has a range of about 285 miles we'll go on a test drive check out the interior the exterior and sample some of the key features of this new mercedes eqs 580 suv let's go on the exterior has a white exterior color looks very nice and uh, let's step out of the front perspective here it has a massive wheels right here on goodyear tires the size of the front 275 45 r21 these are 21 inch rims these are aero wheels as well love the black elements around the wheel arches front fascia looking very elegant it has digital lights and the one bow design there is a single led which spans right across the hood here and uh, the mercedes star houses the active distance histronic systems and there's also an led light around the mercedes star front facing camera right here bunch of sensors on either side also has uh, these air intakes right here even though it's an electric suv but there is some gap down here for aero, aero efficiency and uh, mercedes star sits flush on the hood and uh, let's see the digital lights right here with a single eyebrow and three dots let's know it's an eqs 580 also has a uh, eqs badging on the side here chrome accents all around let me show you guys the rear seating very spacious at the back here looking forward has a panorama roof and uh, this is microfiber material with the rose gold stitching and uh, how elegant are these seats comfort headrests and the center one with the cup holders right here. Third row seat option. Single. So one press and the seat goes back to the original position. That looks pretty good. And my seat also returns to the original position once the third row seat goes back. Mercedes-Benz insignia on the door sills right here. Love the wood trim with the Mercedes stars. And Burmester high-end speaker system with the black piano liquid trim, 64 colors ambient lights, and the rose gold stitching all throughout. Let's check out the rear design here. This is a one bow design, a single LED right across the entire car and uh, EQS 580 on the left, formatic on the right hand side, red diffuser, very elegant as well. The towing capacity on this EQS 580 is 3,500 pounds. Go on a drive. First thing you notice when you enter the EQS 580 formatic is uh, all the premium materials. Love this new steering wheel design with the black Pinot liquid trim, touch sensitive controls on the left and the right hand side. It says Mercedes EQ right here. The start stop button is at the center here. And it plays some music once you turn on the car. Here we are in the interior of this new 2023 Mercedes Benz EQS 580 formatic SUV. I have the key right here. It's a four metallic key, very heavy as well. The start stop button is at the center. The dynamic button right here, left and right. So you go to the left, it has an eco mode, comfort mode, sport mode, and individual mode. So these are the different drive modes, different icons that you can access through the touch sensitive buttons on the left and also on the right hand side. Love this new steering wheel design, black pin on the quid trim, which is a fingerprint as well as scratch magnet. I'd actually option this in black, but this is the, in, the build in this car and uh, Door controls and accessories right here, power memory seats, one, two, three, heated, cooled, as well as ventilated seats. Burmester speaker system down here, window fixtures, good quality, and I love the wood trim, as you can see here with the Mercedes stars all throughout. And it's a very good look. I opened the door here just to give you a view of the door and storage down here. 
And that's a look from the driver's perspective. Press and hold. Let's set the zero layer menu. There we go. All the maps show up. And right off the bat, the seat adjusts to your height and uh, feels good. And you can barely tell the car is on. Now, 0 to 60 time in this EQS 580 is uh, 4.5 seconds. Yep, 4.5 seconds for sure. It is mental in terms of how it drives. Now this car, the EQS 580, has dual motors at the front, axle, and the rear as well. So it's a front and rear dual motor EQS 580. It has formatic all-wheel drive system, which means it's all-wheel drive all the time, with variable torque distribution as well. The electric range on this EQS 580 is 285 miles, which is pretty decent, uh, considering it's, it's a very, very large vehicle, almost 6,000 pounds or about. Feels really good to drive and uh, The other thing this car has is a head-up display system. There is a groove on the uh, on the dash, which lets you know that it's uh, it has and it just takes off. So head-up display system. And by the way, this is a third row seat option EQS. Space for five passengers in the back. So three on the second row and two on the third row. Or it can be about six people, quite honestly. If you have some kids, they'll sit very comfortably all the way in the back. Let us talk about the charging in this EQS. AC regular charging is 12 and a half hours so go from 10 to 80 percent and you're fully charged now DC fast charging is about 31 minutes which means you go from 10 percent to 80 percent on a DC fast charger that's a very fast charging time on your EQS And then if you notice right here, the pinstripe uh, climate control vent is very thin all throughout the side here. It's a very symmetrical design at the front. Almost feels like you're encapsulated in a spacecraft or a spaceship. It's just so futuristic. Now, one thing you'll notice, it's a giant OLED display here on this EQS 580. It has three screens for the driver, the center display, and the passenger. Now, as a driver, I cannot see the screen on the passenger, but I can tell you it's on. I can see the Mercedes stars. So, the passenger can watch Netflix, listen to music, or watch a movie. And as I start to brake, it, it recharges a car through what is known as regenerative braking. 
which means it, it gets power back into the car through the braking system. So it's such a great ride experience. Now, as I was mentioning, the screens here, fully touch screen, OLED display, it has a number of options and many icons. There is an EQ icon right here, shows you the charging, the range, and the fuel consumption. Now the MBUX infotainment system in the EQS 580 is pretty standard as with other Mercedes-Benz. However, there is a special icon that I'm going to show you by pressing and holding here. Set the zero layer, which is this icon here, says EQ. Now that offers you different options for your electric car, previous destinations and charging stations, as well as parking spaces. Let's check out the charging stations. I'll press the first one on the list. And then the navigation picks up and we can drive to that destination. Now turn left onto West Bayway. And as you can see, this car has augmented reality navigation, which also means that the head-up display at the front has the same blue So it has the same blue indicator that you have on the map at the front here. So that's a plus in terms of uh, options in your EQS. You have augmented reality navigation with turn by turn directions using the blue indicator icons, which is so nice. Let's check a moment and see how this visually is so appealing in terms of quality is almost 3D. And it says that the gesture detected for the driver I'm just gonna say no for now. I don't wanna enable gesture on the car. Let's just deactivate the map by pressing this icon and it's off now. And that's the EQ menu. Let's press once. Press the EQ menu again, shows you your charging. So only about 35, min 35 miles left in this car, which means I need to go back and connect it to a charger. And what we have over there are just, um, as I mentioned before, AC charging 12 and a half hours or DC fast charging 31 minutes. And you can see the range. And you can also see the consumption up here. Now, in addition, we have other menu icons. There's a settings menu here. Shows you the driver options. And uh, I'm going to turn on the AC because it's absolutely hot. I'm going to enable the sun visor. Surprising we have one sun visor. This car should have two sun visors. I know the GLE or the GLSs have two sun visors. I'm not sure what's up with that. So I think I'm going to take some marks off in terms of not having a sun visor. So it's pretty, pretty fast. Zero to 60 is, a, is an easy 4.5 seconds in this car. Now all the other options, very intuitive in here, has collision avoidance, which means active lane keeping assist, active blind spot assist, vehicle assistant menus, traffic sign assist and attention, attention assist so it, it can actually detect when you need to take a break and uh, there is also a comfort menu right here for massage so as I drop the car I'm going to enable the classic massage and receive a nice relaxing back massage
Oh, that feels good, guys. Wow. So that's another awesome feature that you can have once you configure or build your EQS is make sure you get the massage package and also make sure you get the warmth and comfort package which means that it has rapid heated front seats and uh, heats up the panel on the side of the door and also the center armrest has to be heated as well. Hey Mercedes! Voice assistant, would you like to know more about what I can do for you? Yes. Okay, here we go. Whenever you want to talk to me, you can press the push to talk button on the steering wheel or say, Hey Mercedes, I can help you enter destinations, search for music and use vehicle functions, to name just a few examples. When I'm online I can do even more for you, like weather forecasts, just tell me what you need. The animated graphic in the display shows you when I'm listening to you. Here you can see an overview of... Hey Mercedes, set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. It's pretty nice to have a voice assistant in your car. And... Uh... The other options which you'll find useful in your Mercedes-Benz are the touch pads, touch sensitive buttons on the steering wheel which allow you to control the MBUX infotainment system at the center here using the buttons on the right and the ones on the left control the screen here in front of you. It has different options. There is an understated look right here. It looks very nice. There is a spot look. There is also a classic look <clears throat> and uh, navigation when you go on a drive. In addition, we also have another off-road menu right here, which shows you the compass, direction, um, charging, and so on and so forth in your car. Otherwise, we have radio icons, media, and off-road menu right here, which lets you uh, go off-roading so you can see all around your car. It uses all the cameras around the car to project and build this 360-degree image that you see here. It's such good quality. You can see all the cars around you, all the objects. So this is a good option menu to have in your car. And that's the off-road menu. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and park the car here. is more than enough space so again 360 degree camera system for parking in your EQS 450 I'm still far what I don't want to have is have the car sticking out when people turn around here and those are the different options we have inside here. The offered menu, the info menu lets you see the energy flow in the car as well as vehicle, acceleration, deceleration and braking. Uh, here we have Apple CarPlay. This is Apple CarPlay in your car, which is nice to have. You can see I have over 200 calls coming in, over 222 messages. And those are the all options we have in your car in terms of connectivity and uh, media. A ton of options, Apple CarPlay connected to the phone. And that's a look at the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 for Matic SUV. Subscribe for Mercedes Lounge for weekly videos.